I'm Eric Burris. I'm the Clean Water Team Citizen Monitoring Coordinator. I just want to welcome everybody here. If you're doing citizen science, STEM, monitoring, you care about your community, your environment, wherever you're at, it's a, a large organization or an organization of one. We're going to pr provide some really good information today on how to get started, how to implement your program, how to do a little bit better job if you already are doing science. And if you're not going after data yourselves, a lot of the tools we're going to present will help you utilize other people's data to ask questions that are important to, to you, your neighbors, your watershed. Yeah. Now, my my co-host today is Helen from the Watershed Project. She is also a representative for the uh, citizen science community on the California Water Quality Monitoring Council. So, Helen. Well, thanks for coming, everyone. It's really good to see so many faces in the room and online. Um, so I, as Eric mentioned, I work with the Watershed Project in the Bay Area, and I, um, I started a water quality monitoring program over the last several years and in doing so, I've struggled through many of the issues that we'll be learning about today. And I believe that groups like ours, small water monitoring groups, have a lot to offer. And what we can offer is very important because we're intimately connected with the communities that we're working in. And with the right tools, if we can have the right tools, then we can contribute a lot to, to data science in general. Um, and as Eric said, I also represent the citizen monitoring groups on the California Water Quality Monitoring Council. And we've put together a survey that I hope you'll take if you haven't already. We want to know what your sticking points are. Is it um, fine tuning your field methodologies? Is it putting together a quality assurance project plan? Is it analyzing and sharing your data? Is it knowing what to do with your data or get it into Seton? Um, we want to find more ways to create gatherings like this one and provide you with the training you need to collect meaningful data. So if you haven't already, please take the survey. There's a QR code here. There are also posters in the lobby. And uh, yeah, we'd love to learn more about what you need. 